Hey guys, Richard here at the Bike Reviews and Adventures. Amanda and I are gonna go meet Ron and we're gonna go grab some Choo Choo. So uh, yeah, I just sold the Hemiway D5 Pro. Thanks Matt, if you're still watching my videos, appreciate you being a subscriber and coming to pick up that bike. I know you had a long ride. Also this morning I sold, uh, what did I sell? I sold Jim the, the Freed Air Sega. He came over from the St. Petersburg area, picked that up. Thanks Jim for doing that. Um, where's my helmet? I'm trying to figure out what we're, what we're riding, what we're taking. I got my helmet. Amanda's getting her helmet. Uh, so what do you want to ride, Amanda? I don't even know if this one has enough juice. It probably does, so I can ride this. You can ride Hand Sky, or you can ride this one. She prefers the Hand Sky. I'm going to regret taking this one probably because this is a this is a nasty seat. Nasty. <clears throat> nasty, nasty. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm going to regret this seat here in about 10 minutes. <clears throat> oh my goodness. I see what you're saying. The other day when you did your test ride, Mandy, you made a comment about how your foot hit the front fender, kind of like the electric X-Peak. Yeah, my feet hit the fender here too. Can you hear me back there, Amanda? All right, wasn't sure. Want to make sure we're connected. All right, Ron, I'm hungry. What are you doing, Ron? What you doing, Ron? Oh, I just got a call while right when you texted me. Oh, I told Amanda, surely you'll get ready and be down there waiting on us to still fumble around because that's usually how it works. This daggone thing in front of got me puzzled. But I found your problem when you're in seventh. I'm sorry, this is too loud. That's okay. I found your problem when you're in seventh gear. It's rubbing. If you look at your chain here, mm -hmm. it's rubbing there. See, that's in, in six now. It don't rub, but when it's in... Oh, no joke. So I don't know whether I need to... What is this little thing for? That holds your uh, guard, chain guard on. Oh, and you took the chain guard off. Okay, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I took it off because I wanted to find out where it was rubbing. Well, that's a, that's a crappy design. Now, I don't know if the whole thing needs moved over or what, but when it was in seventh gear is when it would do it. You're quite the investigator to figure that out. I thought it was, I, I knew it was, I, I thought it was just the chain uh, back here on one of the sprockets that was, uh, yeah. um, you but know, not, you, not shifting like it was supposed to. Before I bent it, I was going to ask you what you wanted to do. With this bracket? Under, yeah, you'd have to Heck bend yeah. that bracket. Let's, yeah, let's bend it. Because in seventh, it will, it will rub it. Because yep. I took it out riding the seat. Let's bend it. Worst in case, fact, that's what it was doing when you were... Worst case scenario, yeah. we, we take that chain guard off if we... I mean, if we yeah. bend it and it breaks off or whatever, yeah. so be it. Not worried about it. All right. And these brakes, man, I'm telling you. No, it's still tight. Now, I've had it up. I've loosened them. I, I don't know. That's if all right. Something, but I'm going to tell you what. It's Look at this. It's clear. There's it. Does, this doesn't go down in. It goes right down the pipe. Oh, that's on the outside. That's the brake. Yeah, that's the brake one down in there. Now to here, it's rolled together to there. But then, then when it goes down, it's on the outside. So why is that now, so? I'm stinking, thinking it's back here. Thinking stiff. I looked at in here, in here to see what we had to see if something was different there. I can't see it. I, that I adjusted all the way out, all the way in. Yep. It didn't make a difference. I think if you look at it, we'll go and come back. Let's get off of it for a minute. <laughs> I'm, I'm to hey, it'll back. land up in the trash, right? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I appreciate you looking at it. No, oh, yeah, I appreciate it. You okay, Amanda? Yeah, it's got room to go down. Oh, you know what? It's hit. Hold on. It's hitting the back basket. No, it's not. 
<laughs> Don't lie to me. There you go. So now it's, no, just snap it in. Yeah, she's still got some sprunk. Let's go. Woo. Yeah, giddy up. Giddy up and get going. I'm hungry. Yeah, I sold both bikes. The Hemiway and also the Freedair. I am. I'm, he, he got a great deal. and He came up from Cape Coral. So he had almost a two-hour drive just to get here. He knew it was a good deal. He took it for a quick spin and said, yep, definitely want it. Man, this bike was doing it again. Now it stopped. So now I'm in pedal assist two, but when I bumped it up to pedal assist three, it took me up to the max speed of 20. There I go. And then four and five doesn't do anything. Hey, it is what it is. I'm not going to work on this one. It's not worth it. Ron, I don't have mirrors, so I can't see, uh, see you back there. So We have a pedestrian up here. Yeah. Hello. Thank you. Now, Amanda, it, oh, now the darn thing just dropped down into a lower speed altogether. Now, now it's taken off. Yeah, this bike has some problems, man. There's no in between. I don't own the King Bull. You do. <laughs> this, this might be... This might be King Bull's, Bull's cousin. Here it is, so. Pedal Assist 2, a minute ago, would only go, was going about 12 miles an hour. Right then it hit 18. And it was still climbing, it just, this bike is terrible. So now it's maintaining 12, 13. And that's what it's supposed to do. And then without warning, it'll decide to take off and do the maximum speed. Okay, this guy's got to wait so we can go. If you hurry. Got a car coming here. Okay, so that's interesting. So here's what's happening. Let these cars go by. If you use the throttle at all and get the bike moving, but then release the throttle and you're pedaling, it, it, it continues to climb. It just wants to keep on going. Here's a rider. Watch yourself. Hello. Hey. So I'm not using the throttle. Pedal assist 2. I'm maintaining about 13. I'm going to put it in pedal assist 3. And it takes me all the way up to 20. Pedal assist four. Doesn't appear to do anything. Pedal assist five. Doesn't appear to do anything. So three, four, and five are 20 miles per hour. This thing is, man, this thing is so weird. Now it feels like I'm getting nothing. I'm... Give it a little bit of throttle though. And it kicks up just a little bit. Yeah, this thing is. Woo. It is a nightmare, man. This thing is jacked. I don't know. You can't maintain a consistent speed. You're just constantly surging forward and going back. So it acts like there's no pedal assist at all. 
unless you hit the throttle. If you give it just a little bit of throttle and then release the throttle, then it gives you full pedal assist all the way to the top speed no matter what pedal assist level you're in. Okay, somebody distract me. I gotta stop talking about this stupid bike. Oh, look out, look out, look out. Huge. Oh, look out, look out, look out. Huge. Oh no, he is not open again today. No, he is. He's not. Is he open? No, he's not. Ah! Isn't that something? This is twice now. That is sad. That is very sad. We should call him up. I actually called him one day and just to find out if he was going to be open that particular day. And, or No, I called on a Thursday, I think, because I didn't know what his hours were at the time, and he answered. But he's no, I, I, don't, I don't work today. I'm only there on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But we had a nice conversation. We just kind of, you know, went back and forth for a little bit. Maybe he took us some vacation time or something. Well, what else? You looking for something else? You chatting? You're chatting with somebody. Um, I mean, there's stuff up there near the interstate, but that's quite a ways up there, and I don't don't really want to go there. There's that Italian restaurant place that's on the left side. I'm not. A, yeah, there's Beef of Brady's if you care for them. I don't know if you like them. That's a good suggestion. That is. And, and they're just right there. And they're just right there. Why don't we do that? We'll go there. Watch this red car here. She might jump out. So we could park like uh, right here if we wanted. And we could. That way we can keep an eye on them. Want to just do that? It's in the shade. Alright guys, I guess I should close this video out, seeing that a lot has transpired since we started this ride. We had a good lunch, and uh, see we got back, Amanda took off, went home, see if we had that delivery that was supposed to show up. I went and stopped at Ron's house because he's been working on the rickshaw trying to do some work on the brakes just to make them a little a little better. And he needed an extra set of hands, so I helped him for a little bit, took care of that. It is working a lot better. He's going to keep it parked in his garage for a little while to see if he can find a good day where his wife is feeling good enough that he can get her out on it. So that's what we're doing there. And uh, I am back home again, so I am going to wrap up this video, see if there's a bike in here that should have been delivered not seeing anything we're not seeing anything no delivery yet huh imagine that oh well sometime today uh, let's get this thing in here and we're gonna call it a day you guys uh, appreciate you hanging out with me and appreciate uh, yeah all the support I get I uh, hope you guys have a good day and enjoy the next video which should be popping up right about now